Well, Thanksgiving is a time to spend with family. For some people, though, family isn't just their children. In this week's Matt's Moments, Matt Gregory met a man whose family grew out of some wild pets. Out in the rural parts of Indiana and Illinois, it's not rare to see a cow, a pig, or even an occasional donkey. But just outside of Jasonville, Indiana, there's a man who's got a pet that's, well, one of a kind. Growing up in Indiana, uh, we, we had pigs and cows and everything else like that. And back then, you know, if you're a kid and made to take care of them, you don't want to take care of them. But as you get older, you kind of miss that and want to get back to, to nature. Planted in the heart of nature, among the fall foliage is exactly where you'll find Brad Dickerson, <laughs> strolling alongside his pets. But maybe that's not an accurate word. His livestock are more of a family. They all have names. Uh, most of them all know their names, and they're spoiled. They'll, eat, they'll follow you around the field, eat treats, and yeah, they know who they are. The family started with these two. My wife uh, seen a picture of uh, baby donkeys, baby miniature donkeys in a magazine. And then we found these two up by um, Brazil. And quickly grew. Uh, the neighbor alerted us a couple of years ago, so we picked up a couple of rescue donkeys that weren't, weren't being taken care of, and we brought them in, and, and they live here now. It's kind of like an assisted living home for them. And then uh, as time goes by, we, we have some alpacas and four sheep and uh, one goat. Everybody's got to have a goat in Indiana. It's just a rule. But the family barn wasn't built until Brad welcomed the newest member to the family. Meet Zahara. A few months ago we've had, we've had our baby zebra. He's uh, seven months old. We've had him for four, four and a half months. And he came from northern Wisconsin. The striped roamer of the African continent is right at home on the Dickerson Ranch. Welcomed by his siblings and even given his own room. You might say the Dr. Doolittle family is complete. But then, that wouldn't be like the Dickersons at all. The plan is to, um, we have three female donkeys. And the plan is to, uh, when he's ready, to have some z donks. In some families, having a pet completes the home. But at the Dickerson house, it's the addition of pets that keeps the family growing. In Jasonville with photojournalist Gary Bryan, I'm Matt Gregory, News 10. What a neat story. Everybody's got to have a goat in Indiana. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I better get one. My grandfather had a lot of them growing up. So anyway, giving back to the